What do you think might be the best thing to do for breast engorgement? Would it be A, take a hot shower, B, pump to totally empty your breasts, C, do both A and B, or D, none of the above? The answer is actually D, none of the above. So today, let's talk about what you should be doing if your breasts get engorged. Are you ready? Let's go. Be confident and successful in your breastfeeding journey. <laughs> So many moms are told to apply heat and do lots of pumping, and that's actually going to make the engorgement worse and last longer. You want to do the opposite. You're going to do minimal pumping and apply lots of cold compresses. Engorgement is some milk that's come into your breast, but even more than that, it's inflammation. It's swelling around the milk ducts. It's the breast tissue is swelling. So you need to get that swelling down. Doing that extra pumping will tell your body to make more milk and it's just going to make it worse. Applying heat will feel really great at the time, but it's going to make it worse and last longer. So you're going to have cold be your friend. And a cold compress, you can buy gel packs like this that these can be heated or cooled gel packs and they come with little covers so you can put them in the refrigerator or even in the freezer and wear it in your bra. If you don't have these and you're engorged right now, a wet washcloth in a baggie will work too. Just refrigerate that and you're going to put that in your bra. You're going to apply the cold compresses after you pump or nurse and apply them for 10 to 20 minutes. Even a little longer wouldn't hurt. If you're feeling really engorged, you can apply cold cabbage leaves. Just keep a cabbage head in the refrigerator, take a big leaf off and put those in your bra. Leave it there until it wilts about 20 or 30 minutes and then you can throw those away. Purple cabbage might stain your clothes, so go with the green. If you are really still feeling engorged, you can apply some heat if your breast feels firm and tight because if it's so swollen, swollen and firm and tight, your nipple will actually flatten. It'll be hard for baby to latch or for you to even pump. So a little bit of heat just before baby latches can be okay. Just like two or three minutes of heat your gel pack and apply it. You can also do reverse pressure on your breast. And that's where you're going to be pushing on your areola of your, on your breast. And that will help to move the fluid back up in your breast so that your nipple can pop out. So it can be softer, baby can latch, and you can pump. To do reverse pressure, you're going to take three fingers in the areola and push in firmly. Shouldn't be too awfully painful. You're already going to be uncomfortable if you're engorged, but pretty firmly in and hold for one to three minutes. After you've held that there for at least one minute, then you can change sides, go on the top and the bottom, those three fingers, push it in and hold for one to three minutes. You can do it with that with your three fingers. You can also make a little circle and push in on your breast. Do it that way, then change a spot. Um, some moms are more comfortable doing thumbs around, or you can even do a couple of fingers like this, whatever works best for you. Laying back on the bed to do that sometimes is more comfortable, or you might have to have somebody help you if you're just feeling really uncomfortable and you need someone to help do that reverse pre pressure on your breast. That will just help it to soften up so that baby can latch. It's important to get the engorgement under control. That's why you do need to usually do a little bit of pumping, but just don't overdo it. If you end up staying engorged, it can really lead to a clogged duct. A clogged duct is different than engorgement. It'll usually just be one side and kind of a hard spot and that's handled totally differently. So this is just how to handle your engorgement. Remember, cold is your friend. If this has been helpful, please give me a quick thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot, mommy. You got this.